Hey y'all, today I'm gonna teach you how you can start your own t-shirt line for free. I'm gonna give you a second to process that because I literally said for free and I mean it. 100% for free. Not a penny towards inventory, not a penny towards shipping supplies, not a penny towards hosting a website. You don't even gotta go to the post office yourself. You literally start a t-shirt line that is designed by you for free. Are y'all ready for this? We're about to get into it and find out. Okay, so I know some of y'all are probably thinking, Natalie is crazy. She's lost her mind. There's no way you can start a t-shirt business for free or any business for free, not a penny down. Three words that will change your life forever. Print on demand. Natalie, why are these three words gonna change my life forever? So the first thing you're probably wondering is, what is print on demand? Technically what print on demand is, is just a partnership between you and an online supplier your part of the partnership simply requires you to create a brand, um, which means like a logo, create different t-shirt designs, and do marketing and advertising for yourself and your t-shirt brand. That's pretty much it. Now the supplier side of this partnership is a little heavier. They do have a lot more responsibilities than you do, but this is what makes the relationship so great. The first thing they do is provide blank items for you to put your designs on. Next, they allow you to put the designs that you have created on their blank items onto a store that they host on their website. You don't have to spend money creating your own website. You don't have to go to like Shopify, GoDaddy or Wix or anything like that. The suppliers that I'm gonna tell you about will actually allow you to have a store on their site for free, which is amazing. Cause again, what we are doing is we are creating our own t-shirt brand for free, 100% for free, right? Right. The next thing that they do, once a customer places an order on your store site, the supplier then prints your designs onto the blank item that they provided for you. What this means and how this is so brilliant for beginning entrepreneurs is that you don't have any inventory to worry about. As you can see behind me, I have tons of stuff for my online businesses that I store in my home. I have it in here, I have it in my garage, I have it in my bedroom, I have inventory all throughout my house. Part of what makes these print on demand businesses so great, you don't have to deal with inventory, you don't have to sit on inventory, you don't have to worry about space, you don't have to worry about any of that. Once the customer places the order on your site, the supplier then prints it immediately. You don't have to worry about having too much inventory on hand. You don't have to worry about making a design and it not selling. You don't have to worry about that. You literally upload your design. If somebody likes it, it gets printed. If nobody wants it, it never gets printed. You're not wasting a dime. You're good. The last thing that the supplier does, and honestly, this is my favorite part of the print on demand partnership. Once they print the item, they immediately turn around and ship it to the customer. This is amazing because it, it saves you time, it saves you energy, it saves you money on shipping supplies, it saves you money on shipping costs. It's amazing. You literally do not have to worry about it. Your part of the partnership is creating the designs and then marketing the hell out of yourself to get sales. That's it. That is it. You don't have to put a penny into this at all. Now, disclaimer. If you wanna run ads on Facebook or ads on Instagram, then of course that will cost you money. If you wanna run these ads, you're more than welcome to, but I'm telling you now, you do not have to. They are not a requirement to gain sales. I've gained plenty of sales without running one ad on Instagram or Facebook. I have ran ads, but in the beginning of my businesses, I don't run ads because there's no need to. If you market yourself right using your Instagram or your Facebook, you won't need to pay for ads. But that'll be another video that I'll teach you about on another day. Now that we know what print on demand is and how beneficial it is to you as an aspiring entrepreneur, I'm gonna share with you some stores that I know will allow you to host a store on their website for free. Redbubble.com, Spreadshirt.com, 
teespring.com, storefrontier.com, threadless.com, and gallery.com are some of the print-on-demand t-shirts that I personally know will allow you to host a store on their site for free. Now, there are other suppliers such as Printful and Printify who will do essentially the same thing, but there are other fees associated with their print-on-demand service. So be sure to do your research before you choose your website host to host your print-on-demand store. While all of these stores are credible and they're all great in their own way, they all have differences that make them different from the other store. Now, it doesn't mean that their differences make one better than the other. It just means that their differences may work better for you versus how it may work better for me. We're all different. Our needs are all different. So just be sure to check out each and every store that I've mentioned, as well as do your own Google research. There may be a store that you come across on Google that I didn't mention. You see it and you fall in love. You're like, what the hell, Natalie? Like, why didn't you mention this one? That's totally possible. Hey, whatever. As long as you do your research, I don't care what store you choose, just do your research and find the website host that is best for you and your print on demand business. Once you've decided on your supplier host, then the next step is to create your brand. Now, just for hypothetical purposes, I'm going to pretend that I am starting my own print on demand t-shirt business right now. And I'm going to say that I selected Teespring. So. Now that I've created my account on teespring.com, I've named my store Just Natalie Ann Merchandise. I don't know. Um, the next step for me is to now create designs to upload onto the blank items that Teespring has. So the easiest way to do this is to simply use apps like Canva. Um, if you don't know what Canva is, it's kind of an all around like, design app it allows you to create flyers it allows you to create memes it allows you to to put text on pictures you can do a lot on canva and they do have a free plan there are other websites and apps that you can download onto your phone that do things similar to canva and also do things that canva can't do so again when you're starting to design your brand and starting to draft up your designs that you want on your on your t-shirt, make sure you download different apps, Google different websites that will help you achieve the look that you want for your brand. Once you have your logo and your designs created, the next step is to figure out what you want to put your designs on. The great thing about these websites is that they offer a variety of options from men's shirts to women's shirts to hoodies to leggings, socks. There's even an option for children's clothing. They come in different sizes and a wide variety of colors, which is great because it will give your store a nice selection for people to shop and choose from. Once you've created your store, you've designed your items and you have your items uploaded to your store ready for purchase, the next step is to then open your store and start selling. As somebody who owns e-commerce stores, the easiest way to do this is to take screenshots or pictures of the items that you are selling and start blasting them all over social media. Put them on your personal page, put them on your story, put them on your Facebook, ask your friends and family to share them on their social medias, join Facebook groups that have similar interests like you and blast it on there. If you haven't checked out my video about how to grow your Instagram really fast using my Facebook hack, definitely do it because that'll really be beneficial right now when you're trying to get sales. So I'll link it down below, make sure you watch it, pay attention because not only will that help you grow your Instagram page quickly, but it will help expose your brand to more people who have not heard about it and may fall in love and start to shop. So check out that video. It's definitely helpful, I promise. Now, here's a business tip. Once customers start to purchase, I recommend that you send them a follow-up email and just say, hey, Valerie, thank you so much for purchasing my Just Natalie Ann t-shirt. Please tag us on any of your pictures to be featured on our Instagram page. Boom, easy marketing. They take a picture of the outfit they tag you in it, that blasts it to all of their followers. You then take a screenshot of that picture that they posted and post that on your brand's page, tag them in it and just show, here's Valerie in our Just Natalie Ann t-shirt. Not only is that easy content for your social media page, it's also easy marketing as well. 
So you're probably thinking, wait a minute, what's the catch? There has to be a catch. There's no way that I can do all of this. I can create my own brand for free using Teespring's items 100% for free. There's gotta be a catch, Natalie. What's the catch? There's no catch. The way Teespring makes their money is for every blank item that they, they offer for you to design, there's a price attached to it. So for instance, it costs Teespring $7 to make my shirt. Okay, cool. So that $7 shirt, I wanna turn around and sell it for $17. No big deal. Once a customer goes online and purchases my $17 shirt, Teespring then takes that $17 from the sale, takes their $7 cut to pay them back for what it costs to print that t-shirt and then gives you the remaining balance. So the remaining $10 from that t-shirt sale goes to you. That's it, that's it. That's the only cost you have to deal with and you don't even have to deal with it. They do it on the back end. All right, y'all, that is literally how you can start your own t-shirt brand for 100% free. Guys, it does not get any easier than this. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. You may come across a few hiccups when dealing with print on demand. You know, um, it may take a little longer than usual for a customer to get their shirt. Check their production time, check the shipping time, check their what customer service options that they offer, check their return policy. Look into all of these things because again, at the end of the day, this is your brand and your business that you are creating. You wanna make sure that the supplier that you are choosing will be a great partner for you in your new business venture. The supplier you choose can make or break your business. So just do your research and make sure you are thorough in researching the company that you decide to go with. Super simple way to start your own business, zero money down. And if you're creative enough to use apps like Canva and, and Fonto, things like that, you literally will not have to spend a penny. I hope that if you clicked on this video, it gave you the information that you needed to help launch your own t-shirt business for free, but also gave you the inspiration and the motivation to take the next step and just do it. As always, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. Also, share this video with somebody who may need to see it or who is looking to start a business and doesn't know where to go or may not have the funds to do it all right now. Just share it. You never know whose life you may change. If you don't already, don't forget to follow me on Instagram so you can continue to get an inside look into my life as a multi-business entrepreneur. Um, I'm on there all day long, nonstop. So until next time, guys, talk to you later.